Local farmers will tell you, for agricultural purposes only, and provided low interest loans to help finance the incredibly expensive business of farming. It is a massive and ambitious undertaking. The 60,000 acres released for agriculture under Delta One is already producing high quality barley and rapeseed. I think this is the uh, spirit of the community that uh, Delta's going to grow. Uh, one of the reasons for the Ag Project being here uh, to starting off in this particular part of the state was the fact that Delta Junction, the folks in the community in the Delta Junction area, along with some, some of the Salch area, of course, and the Salch a big Delta land use plan, uh, which the state suggested that each community do, but Delta did it. So whenever we came along, looking for a place to start an agriculture project. Delta Junction had their, their uh, areas designated uh, that, uh, and the soils tested and things so that we w knew where to go. All this activity has brought other businesses to the area to support the farmers. As the crops grow, so do related economic activities. I'm Gene Carlson, and I work for Craig Taylor Equipment Company. We're the John Deere dealership in Alaska. And the story here in Delta Junction uh, primarily was set up to cater to the agricultural industry here. Well, we've got a, a, a real diverse group of people that are, are trying to farm here right now, as I indicated before. Uh, some of them are, are very young people trying to get their, they have farming at heart, they've been raised on farms, and in Delta One it was a one-shot thing. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get a big parcel of land at a reasonable, uh, under reasonable conditions, not that anything is given to them. It's all payback. They don't, they don't give these people anything. And uh, yeah, they're a hardy group to, to just tackle it. So we have the young, the old, and everything in between. And, but, but they're all farmers. And I don't know if they have to be any hardier than any farmers anywhere else. Because, like I said, a farmer is a farmer. And uh, he goes through some pretty rough times and, and doesn't roll over and die. The Shanks, father, mother, daughter, and son, are one of the farm families who believe their dairy farm will one day be part of a large, stable economic base of agriculture for Delta and the state. My name is, is uh, Neil Shank. We've been here in Delta Junction for three years. We've been in Alaska for 12. And I was raised on a dairy farm in Michigan. My wife is uh, from uh, Marshfield, Wisconsin. And I've always wanted a dairy, but we had this one problem. We were in love with Alaska. And opportunities about three years ago just, well, I come up when they first started the clearing in the Delta project here. I had a friend who was clearing out there, and I wasn't doing anything in the winter because I was a carpenter and I built houses, so I come up to help Kurt one winter. And my first impression of Delta was, who the devil would want to live here, you know? And I had always felt that way about interior Alaska. It's too cold. Nobody wants to live there. And as they begin to clear in the project and get some of that land open up where I could see what it was, I decided that uh, there was a lot of potential here. and. Uh, so there was a state lottery come along in, I believe this was 79, this piece come up, or maybe it was 80, no, I think it was 79. Anyway, we had friends try and file for a piece of land, file for a piece of land. We don't want a piece of land, we don't want to live in Delta. So finally, the last day we could file, we decided to go in because, well, we're always gonna stay in Alaska anyway, so we went in and filed, and uh, so that, that's how we came. And then we had this piece of land, and we really didn't have any plans for it. We made arrangements to have it cleared, but uh, we, we really didn't know what we were going to do with it. I wanted a farm, but the capital investment is just astronomical, you know, and we didn't know if we really wanted to do that. And we, the way things worked out that summer, uh, we ended up, we filed a, a, uh, a financial plan to put in a dairy, and they approved it. And so a year ago, last September, we poured the concrete for the barn. The entire family shares the heavy workload along with one hired hand. If you ask both parents and children of the farm families, they'll tell you all the work is good for them. For one thing, it keeps the kids out of trouble. They say that's because they don't have time to go looking for trouble after chores. 
there is no time to work out. Our day starts at 4.30 in the morning, and usually we get to the house about 7.30 in the evening. Uh, so there is no time for anything else. As far as the family goes, uh, this is our second year on the farm, and we have taken anywhere from $700 to $1,200 a month to live on, and that's pretty tight. You couldn't pry us out of Delta. I have been all over the western U.S., and this is home. I wouldn't go anywhere else, and I'm serious about that. We like it. We really like it. Uh, for instance, the first summer we spent here, we had been in Alaska almost 10 years. It was the first summer the whole family ever had a suntan. I didn't realize they had summer in Alaska, you know. We'd lived in the Anchorage area and down on the Kenai, and there's a just cooler temperature. We love it here, and the people are great. You couldn't find a nicer bunch of people. One of the major problems faced by Delta farmers is the need for the crucial secondary services to process and store the labor of their efforts. For instance, the shanks needed a dairy to process and sell their milk. With customary straightforward sense, the problem was faced and solved by the Lindelman family. They too needed a place to process the milk from their cows, and they decided to do it themselves. Thus, Northern Lights Dairy was born. I work out at Fort Greeley myself, and uh, we uh, put in 40 hours out there a week. And my wife used to work at the co-op. Now she's devoting full time to here now, and hopefully someday I can do the same. I'm Lois Littleman, Don's wife, and I pretty well oversee running the biggest share of this. I run her all on Tuesdays and Thursdays with the help of another girl who helps me to do the packaging. On Sundays, the family gets involved because we package half pints, which takes a little more help to put up. And, and basically, it's a lot of work. Probably packaging oh, probably about 1,400 gallons. Biggest share of it up in six-gallon six dispenser boxes. This will go to the schools and the restaurants, and a lot of it goes to Pluto Bay. Like all the farmers around Delta, Don Littleman's workday is a long one. Oh, golly. Just a rough guess, probably about 16 to 17 hours a day. And does he ever get to take a vacation? Well, we did. Last year we had a chance to go to uh, the Goodyear Tire Farm down in Phoenix, Arizona, at Litchfield Park. Uh, my wife and I, we went down there for about three days. We enjoyed it very much. The boys, they took over. They ran the operation pretty good. There's a no-nonsense, let's-get-it-done attitude about all these adventuresome farmers in Delta. They firmly believe it is a matter of when and not if agriculture will be the primary economic activity in the interior. And they may be right. You can buy Northern Lights dairy products at the stores in Fairbanks. It's a big gamble. Farming's a big gamble, boy, and, and uh, when, when you're... Uh, uh, handling the uh, thousands of dollars worth of uh, that they handle, you know, the, just just to buy their equipment, you're looking at a just to barely get a run and start. You're looking at a quarter to half a million dollars uh, before on uh, some of those bigger tracks out there. I'm sure there's a half a million dollars tied up in equipment. That's before you put a grain in the ground. <laughs> Shortly after this program was taped, a fire destroyed the Lindelman processing plant, 
However, they were insured and planned to rebuild immediately. Luckily, no one was injured. It's tough, if not impossible, to keep a Delta farmer down. The development of agriculture in Alaska is a unique situation. Everywhere else in the nation, farming was the first stable economic activity. Cities and towns grew up around the farms. Storage facilities, processing plants, transportation systems, and other secondary activities grew at the same time. Exactly the reverse has taken place in Alaska. The cities and towns are settled and in place with no agricultural base. Can the state and the farmers in Delta turn around and develop in Alaska in a few short years what took decades to build elsewhere? Is the Ag Project merely a political exercise or the dawn of a new age of farming in Alaska? We need land to support all this. There, there, there's a, an infrastructure here that we need. And in some ways, I suppose some of the farmers probably feel like guinea pigs in any you know, type of experiment you do. What happens to the guinea pig when they're all done? Well, we don't intend to go that way. Well, this has basically been the spirit of Delta, you know. They're certainly not uh, like the uh, one, one big uh, difference between Delta and Fairbanks is, is that when something a little adverse happens, they don't roll up the sidewalk and cry. They just roll back and uh, uh, take a new attack. And after a hard week's work in Delta, what better way to unwind than a little square dancing? Circle up, listen to the rhythm of the falling rain, telling me just what a fool I've been. The thalamantra corner lady do side o man star left around and then. You turn through at home and then you go left alibi and swing your own and promenade. Rain in her heart, let the love in her start to grow. Can you promise to travel halfway round? Side you to the right and left through. Square through four hands, around the ring you go. Do side oh and do it, a chain four. Pray, won't you tell her that I love her so? Swing your girl from a day. Rain in her heart, let the love in her start to grow. Side you promenade and travel halfway round. Head you to the right and left through. Square through four hands, around the ring you go. Do side oh and do it, they chain four. Babe, won't you tell her that I love her so? Swing your girl and promenade. Rain in her heart, let the love in her start to grow. Circle well. The only girl I care about is gone away, looking for a brand new start. The Palomanger corner lady knows I do, and star left around and then. You turn through at home and then you go left Alabama, swing your own and promenade. Rain in her heart, let the love in her start to grow. Very good.